welcome back, back to our, our show. show. This is uh, vlog number four, Global Ooh. Visions three, one, two, three, living, one, two, three. learning, and lifestyles. So we'll be looking at wet markets today. Wet markets are places uh, where you can go get fresh produce and meat and seafood and things like that. And some of the wet markets in our town have other things that they offer, which we'll take a look at. So we're going to go into this regular market here this morning. So I'd like to make a quick mention about uh, Thai cuisine. We're not focusing on that in this episode. We're looking at places where we go and do our local shopping. If you're interested in looking closely at Thai food and Thai cuisine, there are other vloggers that do that, and they go to these fantastic outdoor restaurants and shopping malls and places like that and show you some of the wide variety of Thai dishes that are available. Now, at the time of uh, the production of our video, the exchange rate is 34 baht per US dollar. So when you see the clips of the prices and stuff, you can do your own calculations. We're starting with the uh, daily market, which is open seven days a week. This market has quite a wide assortment of seafood. And also, if you're a meat eater, they have beef, and there's also farmed shrimp. There are several shrimp farms in our area. There's various ocean fish as well as some freshwater fish. Some vendors at no extra charge will clean the fish for you. You got to be quick on your feet not to lose your head. Now most of the uh, produce that you see here is grown locally. If you're going to visit a temple it's advised to buy some incense and these little flower arrangements that this lady is uh, buying here. There are some clothing vendors at this market. There's also a toy store hidden behind those lifesavers. There's various assorted Thai dishes. Of course, durian and mangosteen. Locally grown pineapples. Okay, so right now I'm at a local Sunday market. And uh, it's outdoors and there's not much protection from the elements. You can see there's these umbrellas here, but uh, to do a walkthrough, I might get the camera wet. So we're going to take a quick look at this market, which we have every Sunday, and see what they have here. Some vendors will sell a wide assortment of roaches, water bugs, grasshoppers, scorpions, uh, larvae, and various other insects that are full of protein. On the Tuesday market where we are today, this vendor has some fried larvae. So 10 baht is approximately 30 US cents. What did you get there? Guava. I got some guava. <laughs> Your rice in here? Sweet sticky rice and some beans. Now, one of the difficult things about being a vegetarian, of which I am, is finding meatless food. So here we've got these uh, spring rolls that are stuffed with some crab meat. Crab meat, yeah. Although I won't buy any sushi rolls that have been out in the hot sun all day.
So that's the weekly Tuesday market. And of course, they have vendors there that are selling toys, which Miles always is have drawn to. Have you been persuaded? <laughs> 100 baht. 100 baht. A dinosaur gun. So 100 baht is approximately $2.90. Now, spirit houses are very popular in Thailand. They can be found in front of schools, banks, markets, uh, all kinds of buildings. They're basically there to ward off any bad luck or evil spirits. People will leave offerings, as you can see, of fruits and soft drinks and flowers and things like that. Okay, so I want to take a moment to clarify a couple of things. Um, I've seen some vlogs that are based out of Bangkok. Bangkok is a huge sprawling metropolitan city. It's got up to 12 million people in population, maybe more in the suburbs. So the vlogs that I've seen based out of Bangkok, you know, the, the, the vloggers go into these huge shopping centers. There's like gigantic food markets and food courts and tons of restaurants all over the place. And of course, even the 7-Elevens are bigger than what we have down here. So I want the viewers to keep in mind that what we have available here in this small town where we live is nothing. It's not typical of a supermarket in Thailand. And Bangkok is not representative of every town and province in, in Thailand. So we live approximately three miles from downtown. And along the way, it's country roads. And uh, it's not unusual to see cows grazing on the side of the road. And as we head into town, you will see that we only have one traffic light in town, and that's it. And behind me is a typical small um, convenience store. It's not a 7-Eleven, but it's a, it's a supermarket, but this is like one of the express locations here. We'll be showing you the larger version of this market coming up. Now this is our local Tesco supermarket. It recently got renovated and they added some extra coolers and a couple of aisles. But there's really not much selection compared to what you can find in Bangkok and in the other large cities. Of course, there's a wide variety of rice because Thailand is one of the world's largest producers and exporters of rice. So you'll see white rice, brown rice, red rice, all kinds of rice in the supermarkets. Ah, there's our mommy. Now, alcohol sales are restricted in Thailand, uh, especially at supermarkets and 7-Elevens. They're uh, only permitted between 5 p.m. and 12 midnight, and then from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. And this is a traditional Thai rice whiskey. Now, you'll find more of a choice and actually lower prices for seafood and produce at the wet markets rather than the supermarket. And again, if you're a vegetarian, your choices are limited for plant-based products. Um, this is not real ice cream, it's called ice confection. And being in Asia, instant noodles are a staple food. So you'll find a lot of products that are made in Asia for the Asian market. There's all kinds of noodles from Japan or Korea, from China. If you're a Lay's potato chip fan, then you've come to the right place. Lay's has cornered the market on potato chip snacks in Thailand. So when you go to the supermarket here locally, this is what you're going to see. Imported cereals, expensive. Now, I have to make a special mention about 7-Elevens because they are everywhere in Thailand. No matter how small the town or the, the, the village or the, the city, whatever. 7-Elevens are ubiquitous all over Thailand. And in our small town here, we have six 7-Elevens. Two right across the street from one another. Okay, here we go. Show your time. Well, we got our bag of bugs. In this case, it looks like larvae that we got at the market earlier. So we're going to do a, a little taste test sample thing here. <laughs> yes! Challenge time! It's taste, taste challenge time. Taste okay, well challenge. here's what this is some kind of uh, taste worm time. or larvae of some <laughs> bug. I don't know. It's like what the kind of bug. <laughs> But hey, let's give some to Miles. Oh, we'll try first. Oh, we must try first. Do you want to try? Whoa, he's actually going to eat it? Yeah! 
Yummy. Oh, he's actually eating it. Munch it. Holy smokes. Careful, careful. Wow. Awesome. Show your thumb. Wow, that's the first bug he's eaten. Okay, mommy. Daddy, daddy, daddy first. Okay, well, I've eaten these before, so. Nom, nom, nom. And you know, these are great snacks to have with, you know, like a beer. Oh, it's And you shake the table. Yay, mommy! See, mommy says, says brave. Oh, why, why? There's three. At least one first. Mommy's turn. <laughs> Let me try. I don't eat it. Now, I don't know why she's freaking out about bugs because in her country they eat dead birds in an egg. Oh, but I don't. Okay, come on. Come on. <laughs> she says she does. <laughs> okay. I'm sure she knows somebody yeah. that has. Okay, okay. Let, let me try. Let's try. <laughs> Hey, Miles, Miles had it, so... <laughs> Hi guys, you know I'm cooking mommy food. Mm -hmm. Mommy's being a bully here. <laughs> Look, I got some crap. Guys, you know, show us in the comments again. Click the white button and don't do some yummy stuff or bad stuff. I like it and I subscribe and you can do our show and do come back our show and you can say our like button and you can do our show. Bye bye!